Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ange, if you haven't met me before, and today we're gonna be doing a video on mealy bugs. So I have a pretty bad mealy bug infestation right now. I did notice it maybe about two weeks ago, and then I've just kind of been kind of like putting it off. I haven't been wanting to deal with it, so I just exiled the plant outside. So I thought today would be a good day to finally get rid of those disgusting mealy bugs. And I am not that thrilled that I waited because it is intense. So I will show you that now. So this is my beautiful Hoya crinkle that I purchased from the Collector's Plant Fair a few weeks ago now, maybe about a month ago. I've kind of been thinking that it probably had a few mealybugs to begin with because the plants that were around it don't have mealybugs. This is the only guy that have the problem and it's bad. So if you've never seen mealybugs before, they're kind of gross. They give me the heebie-jeebies and I feel like that's kind of why I exiled it outside and didn't want to deal with it. So I'll give you a nice close look at these disgusting, disgusting mealybugs. So all this like really clumpy, cottony looking stuff is a mealybug nest. And it's just so gross. But you know, pest infestation is something that we have to deal with when we have house plants. And yeah, so let's just deal with this. So I find with mealybugs, they do like more of your succulent kind of plants. So that is a Hoya, so it does have that semi-succulent kind of leaves. But I do get a lot of mealybugs outside on my balcony where my succulent arrangement is and things like that. I don't tend to really mind too much when it's outside, but when they're in the house, I kind of feel like it's something I should deal with. My way to deal with mealybugs is to manually get rid of every single mealybug I can find. So that is just gonna be an awesome job for me to do. So I do have a bunch of Q-tips here. I'm sorry, they are plastic ones. I want to invest in getting some bamboo ones after I have finished up all my plastic ones. So yes, I know they're not the best for the environment, but I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use an alcohol spray. So unfortunately, I am completely out of my 100% rubbing alcohol. So I do have a makeup brush cleanser for me to use. And I know this is 70% alcohol and I have used this to get rid of pests before and it hasn't damaged my plants. But if you have just normal rubbing alcohol, then I would probably recommend using that. Do what I say, not what I do. So let's just get into removing all these mealybugs. All right, so I'm just on the floor now so that I can clean all of this off. And you can really see all of these little mealybug nests all over it. It is really disgusting. So really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my brush cleanser or in another case, alcohol if I had it, on this little section just to get rid of everything. So I'm really just gonna spray it down. And then I'm gonna get these Q-tips and just manually get rid of them, which I feel like could be quite a long process. But you can see when the mealybugs come off, they kind of turn like brown and they're not like white and fluffy anymore. It's so gross. Oh, it's so gross. So you can see all those disgusting little mealybugs. Ugh. And I'm even gonna spray the Q-tip just to make sure it's all nice and saturated. I do find that mealybugs like to congregate in all of the little nooks and crannies of the plant, so it can be kind of annoying to get rid of all of them because you really gotta get into the deep crevices. Ugh, in here, there's so many. Ugh, why did I wait so long to do this? That was a rookie move. I would say if you see mealybugs, try and deal with it ASAP so you're not like me and having to like get rid of a thousand of them. Oh, it's so gross. So I'm just gonna do this now and I will be back when they're all done. Okay, so now that I've manually cleaned off the majority, I've run it over everything. Hopefully I've killed them all with the alcohol spray. I'm now gonna take it into my shower and give it a really nice cleanse 
through everywhere that I can. If you had a high pressure hose, I would probably um, say to use that as well, but I live in an apartment so I don't have a hose. And then I'm gonna be spraying with a pesticide. All right, so I finished treating the mealy bugs on the Hoya crinkle. I do think I have some root mealies on some of my other Hoyas. So we're gonna do a little bit of a check. I'm gonna take them out of their pots and check the roots. So it's all the Hoyas that are in my grow light area. They have stopped putting out new growth and when they do, they drop it. And I just feel like I probably have a nice cater. Ooh, yes, I do think that that is probably a case of root meal. Yep, we can see it there. So I'm gonna take these outside. So with root mealies, they are a little bit different to normal mealy bugs. They don't affect the foliage, but they are all through the soil. So when I have these, I completely take them out of all their pots, get rid of all the soil, and we're gonna do that now. So here I am just checking the roots, and as you can see, there is a bit of fuzziness on them, which are the root mealies. just getting rid of as much soil as I can and trying to get off the big clumps of dirt and this is what I ended up with. All right guys, so it ended up just being this Hoya here, the Marillii that had the root mealies and I ended up checking out all the other ones, they were fine. Some were root bound so I ended up putting them in a new pot. So those guys are just here. But this is the Hoya that now I have to clean off all the roots. So as I said before, I don't have a hose. So I've just gotten rid of all the soil and now I'm just gonna run water all over it and clean them out until I get the roots nice and clean. All right, so the roots are probably as clean as I'm gonna get them right now. So I have had one other case of root mealies before and I did the exact same thing. And now I'm going to pop it into a jar of water and I'm gonna leave it there for about a week or so because what I did was quite a lot for the plant to handle. And I think that it's just nice for it to kind of rehydrate itself and recover. And if there are any extra mealies that I've missed, in the root system then the water is probably just going to drown them so i'm going to leave this here in some nice bright indirect light and let it chill for a bit so with the other plant that had normal mealy bugs i'm going to keep checking it within the next week or so and i'm also going to keep it isolated from other plants and i do think i'm going to do a retreatment of the pesticides within about a week or so just to make sure i've killed off any disgusting little mealies all right guys so that is it for today's video thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed it then please hit the thumbs up and if you haven't already then hit subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video P.S. Actually, leave a comment down below if you have any other tips about mealybug treatment. All right, bye.